Done integration of Pro Tools. Now let's actually go right in the Revolution project. Uh, and I'm going to let my friend Jean Lou kind of talk about this. I let him talk. I'm going to take a deep yes. breath here. And uh, thank you. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Uh, thank you for having me tonight. It's a great pleasure to present this work. So uh, I'll try to uh, to explain this uh, the best I can in English. <laughs> so uh, the idea of uh, of revolution, as we call it, was to create a friendly env environment to to create uh, immersive audio content. And uh, Reaper, as you said, is a uh, really an ideal solution for it because it can support very high number of channel on one track and we have several goals when uh, when creating a revolution first we want to have something uh, as i said ready for immersive but we we also wanted something a bit maybe pre-configured for people who comes from other though like pro tools and logic and that's mainly the two or three um, solid idea that we are behind the uh, revolution so maybe we can switch to to my screen i yes. think I'm, I'm sharing it to you now yes you should be sharing me to you and i'm gonna kill uh yes voila you want to see me on you want to yes. see me with your screen or you don't you don't want to see my face do you Oh, I, I always want to oh, see your face. That's, so nice. <laughs> that's the French, the French touch here. <laughs> We've got some French touch. Maybe I'll disappear, you know. But yeah, go <laughs> ahead. So there is four main, uh, what I call library. I I add to uh, to Revolution. The first one can be can be seen here. I just created a, a new track by double clicking on the on the mixer in Reaper, and we can see this little audio stream plugin. It's actually a Jesus Sound plugin. It's part of uh, what comes with uh, with uh, Reaper, and it's just a simple thing that show you uh, a, a tag on the track. So you can define what a track is uh, by just tagging it, and you can do it by just right clicking on the track. And here you have audio stream set to, and you have your different channel and uh, configuration type supported by Spat. So you can make it stereo or you can make it B format, you get the idea. And every other part of what I did with Revolution is built upon this feature of audio stream of tagging a track to ident identify it better. So uh, let's say we want to create a session to work with Pat Revolution. So I'm going to create a bunch of track. I'm holding Control Match uh, Shift, sorry, Control Shift N. And let's say we want 12 tracks, and we have 12 mono tracks. If we want to say that these last four ones are stereo tracks, I can just simply set them stereo. And the magic of Revolution is now happening. If I go to the menu by right clicking and going maybe a bit fast, if I right click on a track, there is a new sub menu that say Spat Revolution. And here we can route the selected tracks to Spat Revolution. And it creates all the new tracks with Spat plugin inserted. If you want to receive signal from Spat Revolution, I can create a new track. I'm hitting Command and N. Let's say we want to have a Dolby Atmos return. So 7.1.4. And we have a 12 channels return. And I can go back to my Spat Revolution menu and simply select Receive Audio from Spat Revolution. And as you may have noticed, all my tracks that are sending to Spat Revolution are automatically routed to my return. If I create another bus to say I want to also a binaural return, I can do something like set to binaural and spat revolution receive audio from spat revolution and now if i open spat i can see all my send and my returns so i can easily finish my session oops misclick 
I hope. Here I'm going to select my 7.1 Dolby Atmos. And if I want a binaural monitoring, I'm simply going to add one master, one binaural, binaural monitoring, excuse me, and I'm patching to the output. My session is ready. So this is the main feature we did for spat revolution in, uh, in, in revolution. Now, we have a very quick way to, uh, to set up things, but we want to, uh, to be able to do some routing too and uh, supporting uh, multi-channel buses and uh, this kind of stuff to keep our usual way of working uh, when we are working in stereo. So let me just clear this session. So, another part of, uh, of Revolution is to uh, create uh, some script for routing uh, tracks. So, as you may know, uh, in Reaper, we create buses by creating folders. Uh, it's not the most efficient way to do it. So, I create a little script. When you select a bunch of tracks and hit Command G, it creates a new bus. You can name it. And the beauty of it is that it's a bit intelligent, a bit smart, and it can simply it can support multi-channel information. So, for example, I have different stream type I want to sum here, and my bus will automatically get to four channel because the highest uh, format I have in my track is a format which which is a four channel. Uh, track. So that's one part of uh, of the routing. The other one is a bit more tricky. Uh, I was at first a bit frustrated as a as a mixer to because I cannot find a way to do some buses uh, treatment while keeping my different uh, sources uh, specialized in spat revolution. So I come up with a kind of a trick to do it. Let's say we have a drum, for example. So a kick, a snare, and some overhead in stereo. If I create a, a bus, then I cannot specialize the kick or the snare in different places in the space. But what I could do is holding Command Alt and G, and this creates another kind of bus. I call it a multibus, actually. It's not really a bus because there's no summation. Uh, there's no sum in it. But what it does is that now the kick is rooted on the first channel of the track. The snare, the snare is rooted on the second channel. And the overhead is rooted on the channel three and four. So I can treat, for example, my uh, my bus, you see my my drum bus here. Excuse me, uh, with a multi-channel plugin like EPU uh, by Flux uh, as an EQ, and then sending it to Spat Revolution. And as you see, it creates three objects: one for my kick, one for my snare, and one for my overhead. And I can have a bit of uh, the, the best of both worlds uh, with this kind of uh, of trick. Lastly, uh, because when I talk uh, about Rupert with a lot of friends, most of them are really uh, find the editing in Reaper quite difficult. So in Revolution, Re we try to take inspiration from what other DAWs do, mainly Pro Tools, because it's one of the most used, and almost every sound engineer in the world know a bit Pro Tools. So we mimic part of uh, how it works. And now, for example, we can simply uh, drag and the time selection and it clear very easily uh, regarding of how it, it is basically in, uh, in, in, in Reaper. We can split our item using the mouse, uh, the mouse cursor with B. And if I draw uh, a time selection over an item, I can simply and easily move it. It can support groups. Well, there, there's a lot of things to say on the editing, and it really make, make it more, I believe, intuitive and simple uh, to make the, the switch between Revolution and another draw easier. 
And I guess that's pretty much all of it. It's all of it. There's a lot in it, indeed. You know, that's, uh, and it's hard <laughs> to actually pack this in five, six, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, there'll be some good documentation that will come from this. Jean Louis, as I was saying, yes. has been working very hard just to try to streamline, you know, uh, how to use Reaper. And what basically Revolution is, Jean Louis, you can correct me. It's basically, you know, we'll be providing it as, you know, an install. So from our Flux Center, you'll be able to install Revolution. And it doesn't, uh, and it basically, you know, creates the folder, the scripts, everything that's needed for you to function Reaper. And that's it. That's all. Um, there's obviously, uh, there'll be a manual setup option as well for people that, you know, want to import things manually, but for someone that starts from scratch, download Reaper, install Revolution, and you're good to go. You -evolu you know, Reaper will now function with some revolution behind it because of all this work. Uh, and as I was saying, we'll be providing some documentation. Um, of yeah, course. to make it to make it good. So that will be coming with uh, with the major release as well. So you know a lot. You know, as I was saying, of what you know we've been trying to do is uh, you know is provide more tools for configurations. 